and welcome to your gold market update for monday the 20th of june we hope you had a great weekend let's have a look at what's come across the news today of course on friday we had a generally positive session to end a rotten week really the s p 500 and nasdaq remain in bear market territory after the worst week since march 2020 when the pandemic first really kicked off the dow closed just above negative the other two indices slightly positive the us futures are mixed in asia with the nasdaq outperforming at this stage Asian indices are cautiously weak. The ASX is down 0.2%, but relatively choppy, being trading between about 0.2 and 0.4% to the downside. European futures are also looking cautious and pointing to a slightly weaker open at this stage in the day. The US dollar index is flat in Asia, but is eyeing last week's highs after another strong day on Friday. Gold is trading just below that key 1850 level. And surprisingly, and probably refreshingly, oil is trading at three-week lows at around about 1.13 on the Brent CFD contract. The VIX remains above 30, although it is slightly down in Asia today, and copper also had a fairly tough week, closing at 11-month lows around $4. There is no change in the selling in the crypto space. Bitcoin is trading at 18-month lows and has moved below that critical 20,000 level this morning. Really across the board, cryptos have been sold off. And unless you're short the CFD, then it's a difficult place to be at the moment, of course. On the data front, the US is closed with the relatively new public holiday, the Juneteenth Independence Day being celebrated, which is all about the, the abolition of slavery. There was no change from the People's Bank of China in the interest rate level this morning and German PPI really is the only other significant data point today. Of course we ramp up later in the week. And with the US market closed perhaps we're going to see a low volume session across many asset classes. There are a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start with the Aussie Swissy and you can see on the daily chart after we broke through that 200 MA on Thursday we continued the selling on Friday and likewise today in Asia and we're now challenging that critical 67 level you can see it was resistance between January and the beginning of March and it looks as though we're testing that again you can see we're trading towards the lows of the session today if we look at the hourly chart uh, we tested this on Friday and retesting it today so that's one to keep an eye on in the FX space ASX is looking pretty shocking across the board, but one bright light is Webjet, not only outperforming the market significantly as a whole, being up 2%, but also that sector. And you can see that strong bounce off support of $5 on Friday. And we've got follow through today. This 526 level is one that's caught our eye simply because it was support back in mid-May and in early April. And so a move above this could mean a move back up towards that 200 MA in around about 565. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.